What's up YouTube? I'm gonna show you how to make a cool intro right now using the Ben tool. This is gonna be in Cinema 40 R12. I don't know if you need R12 or you can use 11, 11.5 or any of that. But I'm gonna use R12. So first you wanna set up your scene and everything. I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, add your camera do whatever you want with all that stuff I actually have a specific thing I can set up but I'm not going to use that right now so to make this intro you want to get your text and this is going to be a tutorial with it's going to be another one of my intro basics and it's going to be of course on the bend tool alright and trust me this intro that you're going to make it looks really cool alright so Type in your text. I'm just gonna put tutorial. Back up a bit. There we go. All right. Now you can set your dynamics of the text. So I'm gonna set mine to 60 depth, and then choose your font. For this one, I'm gonna use. Let's use. Bit, bit my Mishi, bit Sumishi, bit Sumishi. I don't know. There it is. All right. Now align it. There we go. All right. Now you want to grab the pen tool. And then just drag the pen tool underneath text. And you'll notice now if you go to the pen tool and if you put the strength up starts to bend the text you can see. I think this is also how they made the flatline editing intro but I'm not totally sure alright so I'm just gonna increase my frames just so I can see what I'm working with about 150 okay now just put on auto keyframe keyframe it actually delete that keyframe sorry just go ahead and take the strength and put it up to about 320 and I get this giant blob of text just, now you want to change the angle to 320 okay now you get this big old blob right there yeah you can just take it select both and just move them over to where it's off the screen there we go now you definitely want to keyframe it now you want to come out over to about 60 if you want it to look smooth and then set it to 0 and then set this to 50 that should be about right and then for the bend go to the object and change them to 0 and change this to zero also and click apply All right. make sure you change the text position to zero apply and then now what you should have is this comes in like that looks really nice Play it. Okay, now I'm going to do my own little trick here. Select all the keyframes by just sliding like that and put it to linear. Makes it more smooth and less sketchy. See? And then there's your intro right there. And then what I would recommend doing for this is having another text with like your YouTube link underneath that. And instead of having it as let's see what did I set it to 320 put it to negative 320 and negative 320 and have it come in from this side and have them meet each other in the center right here and that would look really cool so yeah there's the intro right there and uh, it's not only that's not the only thing you can do with it but you can add lots of more things but yeah 
Thanks for watching, guys, and um, see you later.